Good morning, good people. I think I get that from Charles Grayson. Anyway, I actually don't know what's going on today. We got a new vacuum. It's a shark. I sent Dale a list of like the top vacuums. I was like, here, you can take a look, see which one you like. I didn't say all that, but that was, that's what I was thinking. She ordered it like the next day. I'm like, fam, I, I, I didn't see that coming. So our old vacuum, which is placed quaintly on the porch for trash, I did not throw it out today because I, I need to call Eureka because it says, as you can see right here, never loses suction. It lost suction. I keep you posted. <coughs> I don't know why this boy has the juiciest sneezes. It's, it's disgusting. Anyway, we've been vlogging the last couple of days. I feel like we're kind of crushing it. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the party. We're talking about this vacuum we got outside. So what about the vacuum outside that just clunked out on us? Uh, I'm gonna call Eureka today. Oh, I tried that already. Oh, okay. They what? don't even have a customer service number for you to call. Wow. They don't have like warranties and things like that. It was like a page, a web page. I just talked about the products. No contact us. No, we care about our customers and oh, wow. none of that. That's why it's going into our page. So much for that. Thank you. God bless you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything planned for today? I do. A couple of really big things actually. First and foremost, I am going to my first counseling oh, yeah. session. It's at 11. Yeah, with Dr. Purdue. Just to kind of see if there really is me having to deal with, men if I have mental illness and depression, if it's uh, burnout, you know, I don't know. I am about to pump using a new breast pump that after reading the directions, I'm already in love. Just really? hope it works, yeah. Something that I loved about my first manual pump is I could like pump the way that I knew would express the most milk, as opposed to only having to rely on the electronic pumps where they pretty much, you, they control what how you express. This one actually does that. Like you get the milk to flow and then you let go and it just continues to pull your milk down. So no more continual pushing. That's weird. How does that work? Too bad we can't show y'all. <laughs> well, I will whenever I finish sterilizing it. We're not going to show you breast pump the babe. Uh -uh. Normalized breastfeeding. Yeah, get your YouTube page taken down. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to want to deal with this. I mean, it's not, it's not consistent. Like in using my other one, you know, I could like pull my milk to the point of spraying. It's a little breakfast for the missus before she leaves. Hopefully I can get it done in time because I'm assuming she's gonna leave in about 15 minutes. <laughs> hey, I like eggs over hard. You know, what are you gonna say? Dell called it pale. The toast and breakfast is good. Deuces. So I have left my counseling session. I'm on the way to Sonic. Um, Cause I'm hungry and I want some milkshakes and some tater tots. <laughs> but um, the session was good. It was it was kind of like what it always has been. You know, um, every time I do go, I'm always like pent up and I'm just like like a, just a ball of stuff. And by the time we're done talking, I'm just at such peace. Not that I'm sleepy or tired, but it's that kind of peace that. I'm really like just soft and, and relaxed on the inside. She actually spent a, like an extra half an hour over time um, just really helping me to untangle, you know, everything that I was entangled with. And I feel just so much better. I feel so much lighter. I have a path for, mo for moving forward. And, uh, and she didn't really even seem too concerned about, you know, me possibly being depressed or depression or anxiety or you know anything like that we didn't really even talk too much about those things um like it came up a little bit but it was more so like yeah it's interesting actually now to think of it so since she wasn't concerned about it i'm not concerned about it she did say that she wanted to you know follow up so i'll be scheduling a second appointment for a couple of weeks to come back and you know just talk about my progress and how well I'm um, doing which 10 times out of 10 I'll have a very good report so good
this food and these milkshakes to take home to the guys and just bask in my newness. No lie. I'm in here trying to clean up because Dale just pulled up. <laughs> I don't want her coming in here and being like, this house is a mess. <laughs> it wasn't a mess, but she she's special, so. Dale, uh, she went to Sonic, right, which is clutch. She brought me home a couple burgers and she got some milkshakes. So I'm like, okay. So she down here breaking up uh, Oreos with this dip right here. I'm like, what you about to do with that? She was like, put it in my milkshake. <laughs> I'm like, looking around, you got the big cup right here, you got the little cup right there. I'm like, where, where my milkshake? <laughs> she gonna be like, our milkshake. <laughs> I'm about to put it in our milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> but I promise, I promise, because you didn't respond, because I did send you a message saying what kind of milkshake did you want. Mm. Um, you didn't get that. I get the same milkshake all the time. It's Which the one? Oreo cheesecake. I do is milkshake. Did you say thank you? Thank you. You, your mommy, gonna go back to taking stuff from you if you don't get it together. You have to say thank you when somebody gives you something. Let me get you a cup. Mm, give me a cup. <laughs> or I could get me a cup. Random bit of information. I'm watching this Patty Labelle in interview. I've been kind of like on like seesawing on whether I would watch it and it's pretty good. I like Patty LaBelle. Del was saying she always heard of her being a diva. I was like, she does strike me as a no nonsense kind of person. Kind of like your grandmother who's like mean, but as you get older, they kind of feel more like a real person than just this mean person who wouldn't go for ish. <laughs> so I was saying to Del, like I could see her being like, ah, baby, don't come over here with that. You go over there with that. I'm just like your grandma would talk to you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>